What's up everyone, this is Jorge Yao back again with another video. Now this video I wanted to show you guys my new dragon strat uh, post update. So now you can see I'm using two level 7 lightning spells, two rage spells, one free spell, and one earthquake spell. So what I did was I replaced my poison spell with an earthquake spell and that gave me an opportunity to replace one lightning spell with, an, with a free spell which comes in huge and clutch because uh, with CC troops now, if there's a Lava Hound in there, the Lava Hound will not get triggered by air troops, which is great for dragons. So in these attacks, I want to make sure that I want to take out the clan castle. So I'm trying to take out the clan castle and try to go from that end. So this is being recorded at 50% speed, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So first I'm dropping that one Earthquake spell, and then three, or excuse me, two Lightning spells now to take out one air defense. Now this base is only worth two trophies, and I know I'm not going to three-star it, so I'm just going for the one cup win, uh, and that's perfectly fine. So, as you can see, I took out the one air defense, and I fanned my dragons. Now, I'm fanning my dragons from the top to the right, so basically where that air defense is, and I'm trying to attack from the to from top to uh, the middle. So from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock is where I'm trying to fan my drags. I keep about three or four dragons for when the dragons get closer to the core, I can just bring those in and pop them right there so they group up and then rage those guys. So right now what I'm doing is I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, do I want to use my Lava Lunian? Yes, I do. So uh, just to be safe. So I drop my Lava Lunian. Uh, you know, there's unfortunately a air sweeper right there. And But I don't use my Lava Lunian to take out that air defense. I use my loons to take out the archer tower because I don't really care about that other air defense. That one air defense that I destroyed on the right hand side was enough for me to be able to take out half the side of the base and I really just get the one star. So you see I raged those up, I raised those center dragons up and those balloons are kind of doing some work for me right there. And then you'll see I actually dro I drop my dragons um, once they get a little bit closer to the core so that way you know they don't spread out I'd rather have them group up so there you go I drop my remaining dragons and they go towards that storage and now all my dragons are grouped up and I'm waiting for them to basically group up to group up into one spot and then you'll see me drop the rage spell so you'll see that in one second I drop it there you go I drop the rage spell and I'm ready for the freeze just in case so in this case I don't have any single target inferno attacking my dragons so I just freeze the queen and the expos now one expo is on ground one expo is on air so you know I really I just wanted to freeze the queen to be honest now I think I get the town hall I'm not sure about this uh, when I recorded this I don't believe I get the town hall with uh, with the dragons but uh, it was kind of close it was a close one um, but that single target in front of really just kind of just screwed up that those dragons right there but there you go like I basically got the 50% one star win without even using heroes now this is the first battle that I'm going to show you uh, which is not not the best battle but I could definitely could have two star this battle if this base was worth more than two cups so let's say even three cups I would have gone in for the two star and get that extra cup Right, so I would have dropped my king and my queen and try to get to that town hall and secure the two star and gain the extra cup. So there you go on that attack. Not too much, not too much uh, going on in there. So let's move on to the second attack. Now this attack is actually uh, my first raid of the day, and it was actually a lucky find. It got me to 4,800. Finally, back to 4,800. Uh, it was worth 15 cups, so that's actually a significant amount right there. And this base is, uh, so you can see that he added the additional walls, um, mainly for ground troops, I guess, because there's no point for air. I don't really care about them. So you see me drop the Earthquake spell right on the uh, air defense, and it takes out 25% of the health. Drop the two Lightning spells as normal, as you can see. And you can see how the Lightning spell, uh, the, the bouncing of the spell doesn't really bounce as much anymore, so it's pretty much secured. I know nowadays you can use an Earthquake spell in two level 6 Lightning spells and still take out a max air defense. So that comes in huge if you're a Town Hall 9 and trying to, trying to raid with dragons. Now you see my little attack strategy. Normally I don't go uh, towards the single target Inferno side. But because the clan castle is there, I wanted to go towards that side. And that's why I lightninged and destroyed that left-hand side air defense and not the top air defense. I used the Lava Lunian on the top air defense so that the single target Infernos are occupied by the Lava Hound and also the Balloons. So my drags are basically untouched. And then I can save my free spell basically for 
the one the single target inferno as well as the queen and you know any teslas or anything like that luckily this base i think have one uh one expo on ground or maybe two expos on ground so i can see you know one one dragon right now is getting pretty much rinsed by uh, the single target inferno. So I'm waiting for all those dragons to group up right there. As you can see, another one's getting targeted. I dropped the rage spell right at the perfect time where all my dragons are congregating right where the gold storage is and the elixir pump is. And then you see me drop the freeze spell to freeze not only the single target inferno, but I believe the queen, nope, the queen does not get frozen, but my dragons that are raged up take her out very quickly. And so the goal here is I want to be able to take out the clan castle with my dragons so that nothing comes out. If a clan castle is destroyed, nothing will come out later. So to secure the two star, if I don't get the two star with just drags, then I'll need my heroes. And if a golem or a uh, lava hound comes out, then I'll have difficulty. But in this case, I was actually pretty good on this. The rage spell is still working, still effective. And you see all those dragons just attacking that town hall. So I actually two starred this base without even using heroes. So that shows you how strong and powerful dragons are right now. And you can see, you know, I keep going, I keep going, and uh, I basically am pondering at this point whether or not I should even go for a three star, but um, since I don't have any spells left, dragons are pretty slow, and there's still uh, two air defenses left, so I'm not really confident on the dragons doing too much more damage. Um, so right now, really, I'm just trying to uh, take some elixir because using dragon strategy, uh, you're very low on elixir most of the time. Uh, you're, you can farm gold pretty easily with the loot bonuses, and you don't really use too much gold, but elixir is huge. So right now, you know, since I already have the dragons there, I figured I'd just leave them there and see if I can steal some more essence, or excuse me, elixir. And, uh, and continue on with the raid. So at this point, you know, I still have to think four drags left down to three. They're all really low health, so, and the air defense is taking them out. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I probably won't get the three star because if I drop my king and my queen, I don't think I'll be able to take out a, an Inferno, uh, an Expo, two Teslas, and, you know, two Archer Towers or three Archer Towers and, and the remaining defenses. So right there, I'm like, okay, it's probably time to give up. And, but I'm still pondering because I'm looking at the base and I'm like, okay, well, I don't really have much time left. Should I go for it? It's kind of a waste of gems to just pop the heroes. I already got the two star without heroes, so I'll just take the 10 cups and be done with it. But there you go. There's the new dragon strategy that, uh, that I'm using right now and it's working out really great for me. Um, if you like this video, again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.